So these are some of the awesome rocks I found so far down here on the Niangua. The ones on this side I'm going to turn into really beautiful necklaces, I think, or like charms. I really like this purple one here. It's so tiny, but it's really pretty. And then this piece, this reminds me of my great grandmother because she used to, I have a whole collection of her stones and they were all this kind of lace agate. Uh, so it was really cool to find this one today and think of her. <clears throat> Got some driftwood for some little mini nature mobiles. And then these on this side are all friendship rocks, meaning they have holes in them. So I'll use those with my nature mobiles and maybe like some rough anklets if I use uh, yucca that I make, like yucca rope that I use, that I make myself out of yucca leaves. If I do something like that, these are great little, um, basically like the clasp of the anklet. And then these four, this one, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I just thought it was so cool. Look at that. So cool. And then this one I think might be a piece of petrified wood. I'm not for sure. And then these two I thought were just really cool shaped. So I thought they'd be cool like necklace pieces. So yeah. Oh, and I found this uh, foam board too uh, up in the like on the side of a river like stuck in some trees today. So I'm going to bring that home for a little kid I know. And that's about it. It's a gorgeous night. We did, we've done 16 miles in the last um, two nights. We did 10 miles today and six miles yesterday, but we got a really start late start yesterday and didn't start until like one or two. So the way we've been doing camp is Cameron has been wanting to do the cooking which is great. We've got our MSR stove out here. And so while he cooks, I set up the tent. And he made some really delicious steak and potatoes yesterday. And tonight we had kind of a gumbo style meal. Well, hope you guys are having a good night and we'll talk soon. Bye.